Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy, Gaming and Ant. In this episode, we are going to work on our treehouse here. Uh, so, let's see. As you can see, I've already started uh, with the work here. And um, I actually ha spent quite a bit of time trying to figure this out. Um, and so, a couple things I'll tell you is that, um, first of all, the tree platforms for Ascended are a little bit different than they are for Evolved. Um, and why that's significant is that there were certain um, places on the Evolved tree platform that you could line things up to. Uh, but, but uh, excuse me, Wildcard changed the, the platforms. So I had to figure out how to, uh, how to do it. Um, and after a lot of trial and error... I, I pretty much figured out how to get the foundations down and I created a, a short tutorial, uh, which I'll release. Um, you guys actually may have already seen it. I might release it before I release this video. We'll see. But anyway, here's the tutorial real quick for you. Hello everyone. I'm an old guy gaming and I have a quick tutorial here for you on how to set up a tree platform here in Ark Survival Ascended. Uh, the tree platform is a little different in Ascended than it was in Ark Survival Evolved. And uh, the first thing to know about it is that you can't snap walls to uh, the edge of the platform here and then start building back because it, it won't line up correctly. The, the angles will be all wrong and it'll, it will it won't work. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use foundations and we're going to build out from the center of the trunk. Uh, to get uh, started with the build here. And I'm just going to show you the very first part so you guys uh, know how to how to get it started, and then you can take it from there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to this uh, little inside section here where the net is, and we're going to grab ourselves a square foundation. And what you want to do is you want to get in a little bit beyond the first row of netting there. So I'm going to get it kind of sort of close to lined up. I'm going to go into the orbital camera here. And I'm going to move it this way just a little bit and maybe just a little more right about there. Okay. So if you look at that first row or uh, of squares where the, where the netting is, what you want to do is you want to bring this past the first rope to right about there ish or so. So, um, a, a little, what you don't want it touching the rope. You want it a little ways past the rope. And then from here, you just uh, line it up a little bit more and you can use that kind of center beam in the foundation to line it up into with the center net square there and also the the uh, the corners. So we're going to have to move it a couple of pixels to the right. And maybe just one more nudge. That's pretty close. We're going to have to make one final adjustment on it, though, too. That's that's actually very close right there. Okay, so we're going to click once, and every time I do that, no matter how still I hold my mouse, it moves it. So kind of a pain in the butt. And then we're going to get back into the normal camera, and we're going to sync it all the way down, and then try and, once again, line it up as close as possible. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, get back into the orbital camera. It looks like we need to move it uh, that way just to just a touch. And that's looking pretty good right about there. Okay, and then if we back up and just kind of look at the ghost edge of the next platform uh, and line that up with, you know, the seam, uh, it looks it looks pretty straight. It, it's pretty darn close. Okay, so once we have that in place, then what we want to do is we want to take three triangle foundations and snap those there, then go back to a square, put one square in, three triangles, one square in, and you just rinse and repeat all the way around. Excellent. Okay. So when you get the first, uh, the first circle done, you want to look at the square foundations, and you want to kind of just walk around and see if it's if it's pretty close. Uh, so that one is almost exactly the same as that one. This one's in maybe just a little bit more. That one's in just a little bit more. Um, uh, right here. It's, it's really close though. I mean, I, I think that's probably, pr probably close enough. It's not absolutely perfect, but I, I think it's close enough to where it's not going to really be that noticeable. 
if we kind of look at it from the bird's eye view too, again, we're only paying attention to the square foundations um, and seeing how those line up with the beams from the tree platform itself. And it's, it's pretty darn close. If, if I wanted to really try and get it absolutely perfect, I could mess with it some more, but I think, I think that's going to be good enough. After you get the first circle in, then what you do is you take your square foundations and you put those this time on the triangle side and you put two down. And then once again, you go along with uh, your triangular foundations. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Grab the triangular foundations there. A couple more squares. And it's the same thing. So you put three triangles, but this time two squares. And then three triangles, two squares, and work your way around. And there you go. And then from here, you just keep working your way out as far out as you want to come uh, with the foundations based upon, you know, how you're going to build. Um, one other advantage to doing this, aside from the fact that your, you know, your walls and your ceilings and your roof is all going to line up, is it's really easy to accidentally grab the platform itself. And if you grab it and pick it up, the whole thing collapses. And it's a real pain in the butt, you know, once you've started building or if you have other things up here. So that's pretty much it. You guys can take it from here. I hope you guys found this short tutorial useful. I'm an old guy gaming, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so yeah, like I mentioned in the tutorial, um, I when I first started working on this, I lined everything up to the platform itself, and it was not working because the angles, like I said, were not correct. Um, so I finally watched, um, tried, tried to look up some videos, and didn't really see much, if anything at all, at least not specifically dealing with the tree platforms for Ascended. There, there was a few things, of course, for Evolved. Um, so... Um, uh, yeah, so I, I watched a couple of the what uh, videos or one video in particular on how they handled it on the evolved platform, and then I kind of uh, figured out how to make it work with the ascended platform. Okay, so all that being said, uh, we've got the we've got the uh, foundations down all the way out until the very last row, and I thought what I might do on the last row here is make it out of stone, and then that'll just be a walkway that'll go all the way around the platform. Um, so let's do that. So we're going to need to make foundations. Uh, looks like I need to learn those. Okay. Really? No, I, uh, I need to learn the triangle foundation. Okay. So let's go here. We'll put the square foundation blueprint there, that there. Um, I have some, some focal chili on me uh, that's just about ready to wear out. Because, among other things, what that does is help you craft more quickly. So, let's grab ourselves some thatch. Let's grab ourselves some wood. And some stone. And I'm not exactly sure how many of these we're going to need. So, let's make 20 square and maybe 30 triangle. Okay, so we've got um, foundations made here. Put the squares where the triangles are and vice versa. All right, cool. Um, so if we walk around the edge here, it's not exactly the same, but it's so close as to not really be noticeable, I think. It's pretty, looks pretty darn good. Now, I like this idea of the stone paths so much that I think we're going to also do it in the center ring as well. And maybe, well... Nah, it's gonna it's gonna be difficult for us to. I was thinking uh, of recreating the spokes of the, uh, you know, of the platform, but I don't think that's gonna work. But we can we can change out the the center ring though for sure. 
Uh, so let's see. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Square platforms. Let's do those first. So we already have two here. Replace them without having to pick them up. And we get the materials back from the other ones. Cool. Cool. I like that. All right, now, um, let's see. Starting with where the bird is, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, times three is 18. Okay, so we need 18 of the triangulars. Okay, let's take a... Let's get an RG's eye view of it. That looks pretty good. I likey. All right, cool. So now the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a metric butt ton of wood rails because we're going to put them around the both the outer ring and the inner ring. What the hell's going on? The game's acting weird. So we're going to put rails around the inner ring. The reason I'm doing this is... Yeah, there's something weird going on with the sound. Uh, it, it's going to look cool for one thing, but more importantly, the more practical reason is I don't want any chance of me possibly... All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I had to. I had to completely... Uh, reboot my entire machine because it crashed the sound in Windows, not just in Arc. So yeah, fun stuff. All right, so let's see. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start building the first couple of pieces of this pie. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of show you the basics of uh, uh, or give you the general idea of what I'm gonna do, and then I'll do the rest of it, most of the rest of the the basic stuff, anyways, off camera. Um. My my goal right now is to get the base functional, and then as time goes on, we'll continue working on it and making it look cooler and cooler. Uh, but right now, I just want to get get it functional, get my stuff moved up here. Excuse me. Um, I am now level ninety, which means we can uh make the cooker. Uh, can we make the Kim bench now too? Oh, beautiful. Um, you know, so get all of that stuff, you know, going too. let's also, uh, uh, I guess I already learned the grill, um, grinder. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to want that too. So let's learn the grinder. Uh, okay. So here's how this is going to work. Uh, I had to kind of play with it a little bit more to get some, some ideas on how I want this to work. So we're going to grab the, the pillar. Now this little section that, uh, right here. Yeah. Okay. So this piece of the pie is going to stay open because, um, this is going to be a landing area for us. So we're going to leave that open. So we're going to start on this corner here and we're going to take a stone pillar and set it in place and make sure that it's square with that tile and square with that tile. Same thing here, put one there square with that tile and one square with that tile. Okay, now my my other, the other thing I want to tell you is that I'm planning on having two enclosed sections. So this is the landing area, then we'll have an enclosed area over here, and then we'll also have another enclosed area over here. I'm planning on leaving the back half of the platform open um and we'll we're going to use it probably for breeding and or turn it into an aviary because there's just so much space on this platform there's way more space than you know me as a single player uh really needs so that's the tentative plan uh, at least at this point okay so we got those pillars in place let's put these back in here now what we want to do is we want to grab um, some of these roof pieces and some of these roof pieces. And uh, that gets us a little bit on the heavy side, so 
Okay, so the the way that you this works, for those of you who may not know, is you basically, with the roof pieces, you need to follow the same pattern as the floor pieces. So if it's got a, a square piece here, you need a square roof. If it's got a triangular piece here, you need a triangular roof uh, in order for it to work. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, we got to get this uh, to behave here. Uh, I need it to go. Okay, so if I put the cursor up higher, yeah, that'll work to get us started, but that's actually the piece that I want to put in. Then we'll pick this one back up. Okay, so grab another one of these and another one of those. Okay, so those are three square roof pieces or rectangular roof pieces, and they fit the dimensions of the square floor tiles beneath them. Now we want to do the same thing on this side. So if I can get you to snap correctly here. Um, here, let's try it on this one. Go the other way. It goes every direction but the one that you want it to. Can I rotate? Okay, there we go. Yeah, press Q to rotate. Okay, and then this section will consist of these triangular pieces. Just have to um, get it to go in at the right angle. There we go. Cool. Okay, so that takes care of the first section of the roof. Um, Now, what I have in mind, and I might, I might change my mind, but what I currently have in mind is to th now do a, a row of flat pieces. And I think I'm going to stick with that plan for, for the moment. Okay, so that means now we got to, again, we got to follow the pattern of the floor. So let's put these back in here momentarily. Let's grab some square roof pieces and some of these guys. And this section is square, and this section is triangular. Good. Okay. I'm not necessarily doing that for functional purposes as much as I am to just kind of break up the lines and add more character to the, to the place. Okay, now um, let's go back to the roof pieces again. So we'll grab some of these and some of these. And now we got to follow this, uh, no, this pattern here on the floor. So that means we put square pieces here. If I can get them to, uh, had it just, there we go. And we put a couple square pieces here and then triangular pieces go in here. Like that. Okay, cool. Now, um, what I think I'm going to do at least for the moment. And again, I might be changing this stuff up as, as, as things progress here. I'm looking for just normal walls right here. Got a whole mess of them. Okay. So let's put the normal walls down here. And we want to go up two, I think. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put wall there, wall there, wall there, wall there. This one, uh, well, here, let's do the same thing here, too. Okay, but then this one, we're going to make a double door so we can get through there. Uh, we got to go up one more, don't we? Yeah, okay. I just realized that. Um, come on, man. Get, oh, whoop. get up there. Okay. And then uh, we just once again follow th this pattern to wrap that around with the ceiling pieces. So we need some of these and we need some of these here. No, 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 no. We're going with the flat pieces. So we still need those, but then we need these. And I thought about using pillars for the back, but, you know, I, I want some, you know, solid walls that we can then use to put equipment up against workstations and that kind of thing. But there's things we could do to, you know, to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so put that in there. Just got to tell it, get it to, uh, I just had it a second ago. There. And then that one was already, nope. There we go. And then ceiling pieces or triangle pieces go in there. Beautiful. Okay. So, um, and that, then, so that takes care of the first, I mean, I still got to do the, you know, the, the sidewalls too. But that'll be like the first enclosure for us. And I'm, I'm going to kind of divide it even further, I think, somehow. I haven't figured that part out yet, but I, I might, we might need to use like fence foundations if we want it to. A, you know, a, a straight line following the pie configuration or something back there. I, I have to work that out still. Okay, so um, now let's get... Let's get on the bird. Now, what I want to do here is put that in there. And these guys in here. Uh, no, that won't go in. Like so. And then we'll, I'll probably put some rails along here so we don't fall off. But my plan at this point is on this inner row here, we'll put all of our crop plots. And we'll have those up on, on the top. And probably going all the way around the tree. Uh, or, well, I don't know if I'll, it'll go all the way around the tree, but at least it'll go all the way around the uh, enclosed area. Yeah, okay, I like that idea. Now, another thing we could do... Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I, I was going to say, we could... We could instead maybe make this top part stone just to add some more character or even just the inner circle stone so it kind of matches the inner circle down below that we'll have the crop plots on. So, you know, there's different things we can do 
once we get the the basic structure set up there's different things we can do to to kind of spiff it up a little bit you know but that's um that's pretty much the basic idea for each of the enclosures and then like i said this little slice of the pie will stay open so we have a place to land and then it's just a matter of figuring out how um i want to divide things up in here and i'm i want to put some walls in place too i'll probably i might leave this open completely or i might not i haven't decided that yet uh, it, it's kind of neat. It's just nice and spacious. We are living in a sort of kind of jungle environment, I guess. I don't know. Well, redwoods aren't really jungle. Um, so there's, you know, a hundred different ways we could do it. So it just kind of depends upon what tickles my fancy, so to speak. Um, but let's play a little bit with the walls. And I haven't actually worked on this yet. So we're going to shoot from the hip here. Let's just get some ideas on what we might be able to do. So if, it, uh, yeah, see, the thing that's going to make this a little interesting is we really kind of want to have a straight line from this corner to this pillar. And I think the only way we're going to accomplish that well, hmm. all right, before we do it that way, Let's just see what it looks like if we follow the contour of the the uh, stuff here. The contour of the stuff, yeah. Can you be a little more vague? So I think we would make this a solid wall here. All the way up. Maybe we make this a doorway. And I, I like the double doorways so this is where things get a little funky because now it's going to you know turn yeah I guess we could put a window there and then just make this another wall oh no 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 that's not what we want to do That's what we want to do. Okay, and then we fill that in with a couple of sloped pieces. So, I guess I guess that's not too bad. Uh, what's it look like from out here? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm thinking that could work. And you know what I might do is I might make some more stone pillars to put on the corners just to provide some framing, you know, and some more character so it's not just all wood. I don't like the wood pillars in this in the game. I, I don't like the way that they look, so we wouldn't I wouldn't use wood pillars. But, you know, this pillar here, you know, kind of per creates like a little it frames in that part, so we could, um, you know, do the same kind of idea just to add more character to it. I think I'm okay with that, actually, rather than trying to screw around with... Because here's the thing, if we, if we use fence posts to make that straight line, it's not going to match up with the, the roof. Whereas this matches up with the roof, and it's just nice and tidy, even though it's not a straight line. Yeah, I, I think I think we're gonna run with that. Okay, so so now the idea is that we do the same thing on the other side, and you know the thing. This is so big already, though. Do we even need to? sections i mean we could do everything we needed to do as far as the, just the base itself goes in here but i mean i still think i want to do that just for 
symmetry. So yeah, I'm going to build the same exact, uh, a mirrored setup, uh, on this other side too. And the idea is one side will be like our, our kitchen cooking area one. And the other side will be like our crafting and maybe storage area, or I, I'll probably actually divide storage up between both areas. Cause some storage will need for, you know, kitchen stuff and some will need for crafting stuff. So yeah, I'm going to cut the game here and work on that. I'll bring you guys back here with the progress update in just a little bit. Oh, I thought you were October sky. You look almost exactly like him. Well, not, not quite. Um, I just spotted a 145 pteranodon, which is just right over there. And I'd like to grab that. That's pretty, almost perfect level. I think it's that guy right there. I like the green colored wings too. So let's, do I got bolas on me? I do. Oh, you know what? I need, I need to get a long neck because I don't want to use a crossbow on a bird, on a pteranodon. They're pretty delicate. Uh, yeah, let's grab this. And we got darts there. Bolas. We have bolas. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can nab this guy. Or gal, as the case may be. I think that's you right there, right? Yep, 145. Man, it would have been perfect if, if he would have landed up on the platform. All right, you're getting further and further away from the base, making this more and more dangerous. down in one or two shots probably okay okay their torpor goes down pretty quick um let's make sure we're tracking teams in progress maximum weight is it because um, I got too many other creatures tracked? Is that what the deal is? I want to have at least one creature tracked um, that's at the base because um, that way we know where the base is. No, nope, that's still not it. What the hell won't it let me mark that? Yeah, this seems to be a little borked. Hmm. Okay, uh, do you have any prime on you? You have five pieces. That might not be quite enough, and we don't want to lose any effectiveness. Can I... Can I make a waypoint here? Uh, stop tracking, go to... No. Yeah, I don't know. This system seems a little bit borked, I guess. Um, all right, we're just going to have to remember where it is. It's right on the other side of that big rock there. Next to kind of a white tree. Okay. Big rock, white tree. Let's go back over here. And grab just a little more prime. 
Okay, yeah, this should stand it up. I, I actually didn't need to go back for more prime, but better be safe than sorry. All right. Um, are you male or female? You are male. Really like that green color. What are we gonna name you? You know what? Actually, we don't. We don't even have a pteranodon since we started on the server. So we're going to name you what we always name you, Petra. Except for, let's do it this way. There we go. All right, cool. That's a, that's a pretty nice tame, guys. 145. Um, Stamina is going to be really important. And weight. It's, got, it's actually got decently high melee damage, too. So, cool. Okay. Follow us back home, Petra. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to stick just stick this in the pen for now. Um, I'll level it up later. Probably the main thing we'll use it for is just to go for loot drops. Uh, I want you to be on the passive, because we got yard guards in here. Okay, so back to this. I've got, um, so I finished the other section here, and it's looking pretty good, actually. And I changed the this inner ring uh, back to stone. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'll, I'll put rails along that. And then we'll we'll build crop plots, and we'll basically have a total of eight crop plots, two for each of the veggies. I'm not really worried about growing, like, narco berries or anything like that, because that stuff is just so easy to get from gathering uh, that we'll just, we'll just have the four crop types up here. And then we'll... Oh, yeah, you know what, though? We, want, we actually want to make this a green... Uh, make it a greenhouse enclosure, which could look cool, because then it'll kind of put some glass... Ooh, the ideas, man. The ideas are flowing. We could put some glass up here to both for the purpose of the greenhouse and also just because it'll look cool. All right. Um. Yeah, I like that idea. Me likey. Uh, let's go here. Uh, no, not there. Here. Green. I'm gonna want the walls, the ceilings, the triangles, the doors. Let's just learn it all. What the hell? We can do a um. We can do a mind wipe later if we run out of points. But I still have almost a thousand points. Okay. So, all right, guys. So here's the thing. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up this episode here, and I'm just gonna keep working on this and uh, get it mostly into a functional state. But it is my intention, as time goes on, to continue working on on the base here and and um, adding more to it, making it look cooler, that sort of thing. But the plan for this at, at this point is to keep the second half of this pretty much completely open. Um. And I might end up, instead of, I, I might end up removing these rails and putting some actual walls in. I don't know. We'll have to see. And then we will use this for, probably for, for breeding. Uh, and also kind of maybe as an aviary. And, you know, there's lots of options. The other thing, you know, we could do too is we could put another platform up. I think a, a second platform on that tree and then make like a bridge across and then have this tree be for the critters or something i don't know lots of options lots of possibilities and it'll be a lot of fun to try and figure it out uh but with that being said thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye <music>